this one talks about how do we set up the automatic updates so we can set up automatic updates for the yum um, so that all the packages can be updated on monthly or weekly basis um, <clears throat> here are the ways you can do it um, you can first install yum cron which is another package so yum hyphen y install and they the name of the package which is yum cron and then you type yum update then you say check config yum on which is in, to ensure that you know your yum service is running yum cron is running then check config yum cron is on okay that is for yum cron and <clears throat> then you have uh, these two config file that you can edit and can make changes if we have to in exclude you know some packages from being updated you can you know enter it as yum parameter hyphen x kernel hyphen x php in this case any kernel upgrade or the php upgrade will be excluded so hyphen x is to exclude it um, these are the set of commands that you need to follow and uh, you know then it will take care of that automatically okay now let's talk about the version control system um i hope many of you at least are aware at least one of the version control tool svn uh, or it used to be cvs earlier is a very uh, famous one or very popular one which used to be git is another uh, you know package uh, installation tool that you have um, or the source control sorry um, sorry i kind of got diverted so git is another source control or revision control uh, tool that you have we are going to practice in fact git um, and then we have other packages like you know perforce or other tools like perforce google code bitkeeper and all that svn used to be very popular by the way um, but now git is gaining a lot of popularity git is by the way written by uh, linus torvalds I'm, I'm sure most of you are aware linus torvalds is the uh, is the owner of actually linux kernel actually he wrote linux kernel now let's talk about the version control system or revision control system and why we, you know we think that is required now if you see the uh, picture on the right hand side on the slide uh, it talks about the baseline version and then you have uh, you know different version which is version 1 2 3 and so on um, then you have different kind of uh, sub version again in you know on that or the revision um, so version 1 has revision 1.1 Similarly, version two has revision 2.1. Uh, version three has revision 3.1 and 3.2. Right. So, what are the you know major version and uh, you know what are the revision or the bug fixes? Um, so, you know, suppose you are using a, a particular version. So, suppose um, iOS has a yearly update you know yearly release um, now they are in nine and in between you may see that you know they have 9.1 9.2 9.3 and so on available these are you know the sub release you can say or maybe the, um, the um, you know they may have some bugs reported and they have a fix for that so you will have say version 9.1 9.2 and 9.3 available the, but they may still have annual release where the next release will be with maybe version 10 now if you are a developer, you have to ensure that your codes are or the application codes are really organized. So in the sense, suppose you are working on, you are the developer who worked on say version nine, and now you have to ensure that, you know, whenever there is any bug reported, you branch out or you create a branch in 9.1, right? And then you make the fix on that one. At the same time, you may have a set of developers who will be working on maybe the future release, which is probably, version 10 now they will be working on version 10 but maybe you or you or maybe a couple of other folks are helping you fix any of the bugs reported out of the version 9 release so then whenever you release a new one on say version 9 any bug fixes on version 9 that will be say 9.1 or if there are any further bug, bugs reported you will have say 9.1 uh, or 9.2 or and so on Right, so this is how the version control system works. And the reason why you need this is, what if you have to go back to a previous version? As an organization, you need to have the different version of the software available somewhere in some repository, which is called the source control system or revision control system. Clear so far? 
Now to do that, as I mentioned, you have different uh, you know tools available. SVN, um, which is by Apache now, Apache Foundation. Um, uh, that is one option. Git is another option. And then you have you know many other tools available like Perforce Google Code and BitKeeper and so on. Uh, now on Git, you might have also heard about um, um, you know GitHub as well. Now uh, you might have heard about Git or GitHub as well in some cases. Now uh, we'll talk about that one, but just to give you um, high level info, uh, GitHub is a hosted environment where um, your application uh, application code can be pushed to a central system. Git is like in a client, you know, just like you know you have putty as a client to connect to the server. Git is more like you know client that is installed on your local machine or some in, in our case we'll actually install it on our Linux system. Um, through that you push the changes or you push the application code to GitHub and GitHub is as I said is a hosted environment or hosted setup. Now talking more about the revision control system here if you see um, um, you know three developers are working together as a team and they check in their code to SVN system right and from SVN uh, system which is the source control or revision control system you create a build out of it you know from your source code once the build is created on the left hand side you see staging environment so you push the code or the build to staging environment or more like you know non prod or pre prod environment you test it once it is all tested and verified then you push the code to production or live environment this is again kind of high level this is how it works okay now it talks about why do we need revision control system um, so Praveen has a question on Git GitHub. Yes, like server and client setup. Yes, that is how it is going to be. So we'll practice on that. In fact, um, now why do we need revision control system? So it is very important for due diligence. It is essential for any form of distributed and collaborative development. So suppose you are a team um, of say ten people, work, working from ten different locations, maybe. Now. Uh, you know in this case this is distributed uh, you know development environment but collaborative because maybe all 10 of you are working on say um, you know on a common project so all 10 of you need to be in sync and uh, all 10 of you need to have your files stored in a common location and that is when the version control or revision control system is needed um, in a very large organization uh, where there are many developers working on a project uh, distributed uh, working on a project or the same code it is required to make sure that they maintain the best working code so that means there needs to be a central place where they can check in their code or store their code right or application code every change made to the source must be tracked means who made the change why the changes were made uh, what time the change were made all those details need to be tracked and stored somewhere right so in case say for example if you're working for Facebook I mean Facebook page when you log in uh, when you go to the Facebook page when you try to log in you have the login and password in the same uh, for example row but what if organization decides to display uh, to have the login page similar to maybe Yahoo or Gmail now they may ask you to uh, you know make the change but you want to record it like you know who made the change why the change was made uh, when the change uh, you know was made and all that just to maintain the history or the revision history now here this is a comparison between SVN and Git. SVN, as I mentioned, is uh, from Apache Foundation. So, uh, SVN is same as Subversion. Um, so Subversion is an open source version control system. It was founded in 2000 by a company called Collabnate, and then uh, later, uh, you know, Apache took over, and now it is owned by Apache Foundation. Uh, SVN employs con concept of atomic operations that prevents corruption of database uh, and then SVM does not use peer-to-peer -peer model now in case of git git is um, a distributed version control system which is designed and developed by Linus Torvalds which I you know talked about earlier um, git supports very rapid branching and merging and includes specific tools for visualizing and navigating um, you know, which is as I said, you know, the GitHub, right? Where you have this hosted, and you will see that you can see all your files and everything through your web browser. 
uh, you have full history tree that can be viewed offline. Uh, means you have uh, your own Git install on your local system, right? So, and that can be viewed, or you can make the changes even in offline mode. It is distributed and uses peer to peer model. It is, of course, the distributed model where, um, you know, teams can be located in different locations uh, and they can still work on the same code base. Uh, 